Hey fun fans, our feature team is 148 the Robo Wranglers, and they've hooked us up with an awesome giveaway of a Deep Space Cowboys 148-118 t-shirt. To enter, be a YouTube subscriber and comment in any video with your favorite 148 robot. You can enter in any video that has his intro through October 9th, so make sure you comment below. We're going to try to push through uh, as many of the questions that you guys have submitted uh, in the chat as possible. I'm sure we have a lot to get to, so we will do our best. Uh, so we're going to roll... We're going to, I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah, Any just degrees. real quick for me, I just want to add, uh, guys, tons and tons of questions. Some of them are already asked, and uh, Connor's been in chat uh, kind of curating those out. If you have a question we didn't get to, post it in the Chief Delphi thread, uh, and 148, I think, will be cool enough to uh, respond back to those later. Is that all right with you guys? Sweet. So, yeah, so make sure you post in the in the Chief Delphi thread for the show, uh, and that's how uh, you'll get those questions uh, answered later on if we do not get to you. But, yeah, Madison in chat, lots of caps, by the way. Let's do all caps with Madison. It's that's not, it's not case sensitive. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to jump right into it. Uh, Poofy Jacket 254, uh, and cool, cool name. Uh, they ask, uh, how big is your lab actually? Uh, it looks huge in the videos. So I don't know if you have any, like, details you remember off the top of your head. Yes, actually. So we have a machine shop, a classroom, the workspace, and the field, and all combined together, it's about 8,500 square feet. 8,500. All right, cool. Uh, next question comes from uh, C Scales, I think that's how it says, from 1073, asks, uh, how do you get your students excited to scout? Um, I'm awesome, and Grant is awesome, and we <laughs> on the scouting team. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That's, that's it. There you go. So just just get Adrian or Grant on your team, and your problems are solved. Yeah. So. No. Um, no. But for real, we we pump up the scouting team hardcore. I know that sometimes it doesn't always seem like the greatest job, and sometimes it isn't. Um, but it's really really important. And on our championship roadmap, um, we have all the positions up there. Um, you know, how do we pick a good alliance? Well, we have to scout a good alliance. How do we win two quarterfinals matches? How do we get out of our divisions? Well, we have to scout them. Um, and so we really try and put emphasis on how important it is. We can't just build a good robot. Build a good robot does not win you a championship normally. Um, uh, so we just put a lot of emphasis on it and we try and make it fun. I was, uh, when we had the other um, databases and stuff up, we do fun stuff at scouting meetings. We name our categories and we have inside jokes and- um, Eat a lot of candy. We eat a <laughs> lot of <laughs> candy. If you ever want a high chew or a gummy bear, just come, come to, to the 148, 148. stands because <laughs> we have them. Um, so I, we just try to make it fun. Um, sometimes when things aren't, fun inherently you just have to make them fun so we have a lot of cool different things we do the scouts and we have a great time up there we're always laughing cool uh all right next question <laughs> <Hi -choo's. laughs> there it is hi you. um all right next question comes from uh meta hero brine one uh they ask how do you go about teaching programming to your rookies um everyone's like looking around like who is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> We, uh, our programming mentors, Caleb uh, and James, uh, usually hold seminars uh, in the uh, off season. So, I mean, it's literally just like a class. Uh, they have them up here. And, um, and like I said, we switched to Java because we have computer science classes at the high school that teach Java. Um, but those just started. So we're hoping that that really helps, you know, build our programming team. I don't think in general, we really consider ourselves to be a super strong programming team. We've really been trying to get better in the past few years. Uh, and I yeah. think we've been successful, um, but we're definitely not there yet. Um, so we're trying to teach programming the best we can, but we're, I don't know, we're still working. We're still iterating. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Always iterating. Yeah. Always. Uh, all right, fun question. Uh, Oh, actually, no, sorry, we're skipping one. Uh, first from Sui G254. Uh, lots of 254 peeps on tonight. Uh, what does the team do to keep such a large workspace clean and organized? Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't you guys answer this? Well, well we get yelled at a lot because we don't. That, and we uh -oh. take time. <laughs> yeah, we take time after every single work day to, we take a couple minutes, okay, you know, get all your drinks picked up, all your trash picked up, everything gets... <laughs> 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 Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Uh, literally, <laughs> empty soda cans in the lab drives me insane. <laughs> they can tell you. I yell at them about it. I'm like, pick up the empty drinks, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I yell a lot. That's probably not a great answer. 
That's probably, honestly, though, that's probably the most she yells about. The only yeah. time she ever really yells yeah. is, like, clean up your crap. Like, yeah. <laughs> we, we, just had, we just had to spend a good three hours cleaning yesterday, so I, I feel your pain. Yeah. Uh, all right, fun question from, this is from Poofy Jacket 254 again, says, uh, why did you name the robot drive through um, Well, we were kind of playing off of uh, 118's name of Flyby, so we figured, you know, make it as far off as we can, so the opposite of fly is drive, right? And you don't <laughs> so, go buy something, you go through it, right? So there you go, you got drive through <laughs> So fun fact, we, you know, we had the, we had the prank planned before their robot release came out, obviously. Um, but, uh, and so originally we were going to do a 118 like name of overhang. And so originally it was going to be cantilever. That was going to be the name because we said we figured that sounded 118 like, but, um, when they came out with flyby, we just, we were like, oh, no, 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 we got to <laughs> do this. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, next question. Uh, shoot. I just lost my place. Uh, Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, from Connor, who's uh, been nice enough to uh, be curating some of these questions tonight. Uh, why are you using different sized Anderson battery connectors? Uh, so why did uh, you guys switch to larger ones? Oh, yeah, we use the larger ones, I'm pretty sure, because Simbot started using them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, there's something about electrons, uh, yeah. something. Yeah, so we switched to those because they actually have larger terminals, and so it restricts our battery voltage less. And so we can actually run more power out of our battery. Um, we drain them faster, but as long as we only run a match on them, it's not a problem, right? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just it lets us pull more power out of the battery whenever we need it. It's a good thing my students are smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, and, and battery battery use is pretty key because, you know, that's all the power for the whole robot, so that really affects your uh, performance. Um, yeah. All right, uh, next question. Uh, so this might need a little backstory. Uh, why did the FTA at District Championships stop your robot from falling off of HAB Level 3? Um, so maybe you guys can give us any backstory there for those who don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. If we don't know why, can we just say that? Yeah, I mean, if you don't know why. Um, I mean, we're, we're kind of buddies with him. We have we talked to him a lot. He's been a friend of ours. He's helped with our, our district last year, I believe. And... I why he caught it, I'm not quite sure, but I don't know. Joe's a really nice guy. Really For anybody that's just a nice know, guy, yeah. <laughs> that would probably be my best guess. I, he's he just, just doesn't. A really he nice just guy. doesn't want to see anybody's robot fall. Yeah. Really. yeah, I don't think the 148 on our bumpers had anything to do with his actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Tyler, Tyler, our producer, actually would like to ask, uh, what is your favorite tournament? Oh. Oh, I got. I got yeah. one. Honestly, oh. my favorite tournament this year was state champs for sure. Yeah, I'd, I'd say district that. championship this year was insanely high level, so you got to play against a bunch of good teams. But you also knew a lot of those teams because they're from nearby, so you were competing at a very high level against friends, and it was just a really good time the entire time we were there. That's a good answer. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, Nips from 2056 would like to ask. Uh, is 48 coming to Detroit anytime soon? So any chance you guys want to say, nah, we don't need to go to Houston. That's too close. <laughs> actually, funny story. Funny story. Go ahead, Emma. So this year prom was actually on the same week as champs. And our principal was like, well, we were going to fly y'all out to Detroit and see if you guys could compete at that one. Well, you guys should come this year, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, I was like, yeah, FIRST doesn't allow that anymore. Yeah. But yeah, our principal actually said yeah, he would let us do it. So maybe if FIRST changes the rules, we'll come to Detroit. I think I'm so, coming right now. All right, so everybody watching, just send an email to yeah. uh, Frank or Don and uh, <laughs> appeal for that so we can all see 148 because I haven't seen them in like five years now, which is unfortunate. So I would love to see them. Uh, all right. Uh, we let's see. You guys too. We miss all the North teams. Yeah. Uh, Dizzy3113 asks, uh, what are the Robo Wrangler's three favorite colors? Black, 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 black and black. blacker. There you go. Easy enough. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite battle bot? Ooh. Fight Force. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fight Force. Fight Force. FRC favorite. Yeah. Uh, Mike, our Mike Stark, our good host of the channel. Uh, what's up with the D Row Cribs episodes, and will we see an episode three soon? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, what's up with them? They're awesome. <laughs> uh, two, we actually just talked about that like two weeks ago. 
when when is when is episode three dropping i don't know maybe this year we have ideas though uh, are we still our, our team in the shop still references big red like all the time <laughs> constantly we, okay, we, that, like, we i want to say that is a d-rail thing that is not 148 thing we're not letting mm -hmm. also d-rail doesn't like big red so i don't know why he picked that <laughs> one exactly. he never then, then expletive him you know like he doesn't he doesn't like it he just decided to pick that one <laughs> yeah uh, all right uh what is the process on leadership uh, another question from poofy jacket 254 uh process on leadership so i think i mean he means like how to how is it decided kind of what students jump into what roles i know you guys talked about drive team is it kind uh, of just natural selection or is that like a more formal process no formal process if you do the work you're the leader yep cool easy enough uh how many mentors are with the team and how many are paid uh and that's from a long number, so I'm not going to read that. Yeah, something for a long number. Uh, how many mentors are with the team? Great question. Ooh. I think 16-ish, six, but at varying levels. Yeah. I would say we have a group of probably five or six core mm -hmm. mentors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm paid because I work at the school, and I do robotics for the whole district. Um, and then we have two more teachers that work with the team that are, um, I, I mean, they're paid to be teachers, I don't know if that counts. They, just like they are not paid, paid for their mentors. participation in the program. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Well, and I think, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to project on what this person thinks, but my guess is that there might be a, an implication that, like, because I know, obviously, a lot of your mentors come from IFI, that, like, uh, maybe uh, somehow they'd be paid to help work with the team, but I'm guessing oh, that's no. not the case. No. That's just a perk of being at IFI. I mean, you get to yeah. help one for yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Connor, Connor, uh, one of our uh, hosts, was he wanted to add on to that question. Uh, how many students are paid? <laughs> so here we're at 31 students? 35, 35. students. 35 students. Um, we, we haven't gotten much into the swing of things, so we <laughs> haven't met, spent a lot of time as a team yet, but we're getting there. Yeah. Um, our championship year, 2018, we had 21 kids on the team. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so is, is, I mean, is, is it a goal of your guys is to keep getting bigger and bigger or are you kind of happy with like the number you're at I don't think so um, I, I like the number we're at Yeah. Uh, honestly the biggest team I've been in was 2017 so maybe I'm ruined with big teams because it was 2017 <laughs> uh, uh, but... <laughs> honestly like we don't have a set number for how many kids we let on the team if, a, if, a ki if we identify that a kid is going to be successful in the program then they get in the program mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, I allergic twenty one asks, uh, when did you guys design your pit? And I don't know, maybe you guys can talk about it a little bit. I think that was twenty thirteen off season. No, I think it was later than that. I think it was. I think the first time we had it was twenty sixteen. Oh, it was twenty fifteen off. Season. So uh, twenty fifteen off season. The cart season? was twenty thirteen. The cat is on our website. Um, yeah. James Tomthat, he's one of our mentors. He really worked uh, with that. Madison helped him a little bit. That was when she was first on the team and just like starting to learn SolidWorks. Um, so James worked on that a lot. He worked for Rack Solutions at the time, so it kind of wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a stretch for him. No. <laughs> um, it's awesome. We love it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's great. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, last question. I don't know who I don't know who it's from, uh, but they wanted to ask. Were your shirts actually counterfeit? So maybe for those who don't know what that's talking about, maybe you guys can give some backstory on what that's alluding to. <laughs> so, yeah, we actually made a video about uh, someone who supposedly bought a 148 shirt, and it was fake. And that is actually true. That shirt that she pulls out of the box was, someone, was a shirt that someone had made, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and someone traded for it and then sent it to us because they, like, they're like sent us pictures of it and then we just asked them to have it we're like okay we need to get this shirt now <laughs> yeah so we then made this video based off of that preview that everyone has seen <laughs> and <laughs> we uh we had some fun with it because that was that was probably two weeks of our lives that we uh <laughs> obsessed over a video of a t-shirt yeah <laughs> but <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah well so make sure make sure whatever uh merchandise you guys are trading for out there make sure it's legitimate the real black market. 
Uh-huh. The real black market. <laughs> All right. So we are going to do our drawing for our third giveaway one, our, our third giveaway, final one of the night. Uh, and this was for the uh, the 2018 intake frame. So make sure you get your Madison keyword typed into the chat. Make sure you click that green follow button and Tyler will be rolling for that. Yep. A couple last things I want to talk about real quick before we roll. Give you one last opportunity to get in uh, is don't forget. We do have the Chessy Champs uh, pick them draft going on right now. Check out our discord for that. You can, uh, uh, select your own set of teams based on the prices that were paid off our show last night. Winner will get an Amazon gift card. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, submit uh, your picks for that. They'll be due by Thursday. And of course, uh, there are uh, eight off season events going on this weekend. So make sure you go to the bluelines.com to check them all out. Of course, Chessy Champs uh, going as well. And also check out the Ozark Mountain Brawl being streamed on fun. Uh, so watch them all at the bluealliance.com. Uh, and if you're not going to Blue Lines, what, what are you really doing anyways, right? Uh, so rolling uh, for this giveaway, the winner for this is going to be Charles M. 479. Charles M. 479, congratulations. A subscriber, so that means lots of rigged emotes in chat because we rigged it for two subscribers today uh, to win these awesome giveaways. So congratulations uh, once again for uh, winning and uh, make sure you reach out to us with your information. And don't forget uh, that 140 has also provided a couple other awesome giveaways. Uh, if you don't mind talking about these uh, real quick, we bring up on screen. Uh, so this is part of your chassis for one of your uh, robots. Is that correct? Uh, so this one was actually our partner grabber. We called it the Robot Wrangler from the 2018 season. And it's mis- it isn't the full subsystem, but there would be a roller with Velcro that would actually pull in a strap on another robot. And that was what we used to buddy climb in 2018 to get the ranking point. Very, very cool. So this will uh, be, so make sure you check out our YouTube. We have this and then also the Deep Space Cowboy shirt, uh, which uh, I'm sure is a uh, in big demand. Uh, it will be uh, at least uh, this wrinkly, if not potentially more, once it gets shipped out to you. So, uh, but really cool stuff. And thanks again to, uh, of course, 148 uh, for really stepping up the game for uh, giveaways, uh, setting yeah. the bar high for other teams. Uh, but once again, this will be on our YouTube pages. We'll have a, a keyword uh, that you can put in or some sort of thing uh, talking about uh, 140 or something like that. And then just make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. Any of the videos that have these will get you entered to win. All right. So before we finish up the show for tonight, uh, do you guys have anything coming up that you'd like to promote or maybe some takeaways from the past season or things you're looking forward to for the 2020 season? So I think one of the things that we took away from last season, especially was toward the end, our robot, it started to fall apart. And I think we're, we picked out that we really need to work on how robust we build some of our subsystems. And I think we'll do a lot better about that in future seasons, especially now that we know what we've done may not work anymore. And for this upcoming season, I'm really looking forward to no bag. I'm really interested to kind of see what our team comes up with and just the different things we're going to do with that. So. Um, and just a few things we wanted to promote real quick. So we talked about earlier, we actually are hosting our first Texas Combat Robotics competition uh, here on January. No. December 14th, um, and it's one pound, two pound, and three pound robots, and it's open to anybody in the country. Um, and so I, I didn't have the website, or I would have put it up, but uh, oh, yeah, hey, found thanks, it. Tyler. <laughs> so um, if you want to sign up, that should be up there soon. Um, and also, our district event um, is going to be during week one this year. Mm. So we're looking forward to hosting really? some Texas first teams during week one, um, and we cannot wait for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I also quickly wanted to say that um, on air tonight, I don't know if you've been able to see it, um, but I'm wearing my LGBTQ first pin. Um, so I wanted to give a shout out to that group because they're awesome. And um, if you haven't met anybody from them and gotten one of these awesome pins, you should do that. All right. And last thing I'll ask you guys, do you guys have a suggestion on what team you'd like to have us see us see on the show next? Wow. Can't talk. Oh, I have one. Okay. But you guys go. What you got? No, what you got? No. Oh, I got to see 118, man. Yeah. <laughs> Space Cowboys bros. That was that was predictable. Yeah. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> of okay, course. You already, you already did the poops, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Well, that is going to do it for tonight's show. We hope everyone out there enjoyed the show and that you guys all learned a lot from it. I know I certainly did. Uh, I want to give a massive thanks to our awesome guests from 148 for volunteering to come on the show and for giving us all so much information about what makes them so amazing. Uh, So I hope you guys had some fun being on the show. It was awesome. Thank you, guys.
All right, and Tyler, real quick, is going to read off our latest supporters of uh, fun. So, Tyler, take it away. Yeah, I've gone all black uh, for this, by the way, or as close as I can be uh, with a weird, creepy green screen. Yeah, something like that. It looks like I got eye makeup on, right, Nick? Uh, so let's read off uh, some of our giveaway winners uh, here from, the, from this uh, since the last stream. Uh, there we go. Uh, Lino C, 20 months to support uh, Pandavax with some uh, bits. Red Leader, 342, 300 bits. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, Mewthu with a few bits. Poof Jacket, 254, the prime sub. Uh, Nick, stepping up with 18 months support. Thanks, Nick. Uh, the... Yeah, the big guns, 2727 Prime Sub. Uh, Suds SW12 with the Prime Sub. Uh, Kunal King, 865, 10 months support. Comaster 1018, 9 months support. Trial Master Gaming, 5 months support. Pran Chabilla, 4 months support. Uh, uh, NL, NLSGRN, 5 months support. Says all black, everything. Uh, Martia Bart with the Prime Sub. Uh, Obsidian Jeff with Tier 1. And Connor coming in there with 300 bits. Uh, right at the end and as always if we ever miss anybody thank you thank you thank you for all your support uh here fun keeping us loud live independent guys we are going to be growing like crazy uh this upcoming year some huge announcements coming up and we can't wait to talk about those uh for 2020 uh but we're going to get some of the support uh we need to make things happen and fun can't wait for more and can't wait for more great shows all right so stay tuned for all the latest and like we've said throughout the show make sure you click that green follow button uh, that'll keep you up to date on all the shows going on, all the streams of all the events that we might be covering this off season. And, uh, and like you, like we've said before, if you want to help to support us, like some of the supporters he just uh, rattled off there, go ahead and click that purple subscribe button. You might have a free Twitch Prime sub available if you have your Amazon Prime account linked. So be sure to check all of that. Uh, huge thanks to Tyler for uh, producing tonight's show. Um, so otherwise, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks for watching FRC Deep Dive. And if you guys have any suggestions on who you would like to see next on the show, uh, outside of maybe 118, uh, go ahead and let us know on our Discord or on our uh, Chief Delphi thread. So thanks for all the mods in the chat for keeping things civil tonight. And uh, that's going to do it. So have a great night, everybody. And we'll see you next time on FRC Deep Dive. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.